Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know what a robot vacuum is. And look, since you're watching this video, you might be on the verge of buying one. But how confident are you in making that decision? Well, despite first appearing back in the 1990s, robot vacuums still feel fairly new to a lot of us, and chances are you haven't used one before. So, how well do you really know robot vacuums? I can hear him speak to me. We've partnered with Ecovacs to test your knowledge and to chat about some of the biggest myths and must-knows surrounding robot vacuums. And we'll be using this Ecovacs DBot N8 Pro as a little test subject during this video, but there are other options out there. Okay, myth number one. They miss spots and just move randomly around your home. In reality, Robovacs have come a long way since the early days when they were clattering around and were just a, a little bit clumsy. Now we're seeing incredibly sophisticated technology being employed into these gadgets that can map out their surroundings and create the best cleaning path possible. The DBot N8 Pro uses something called DTOF, which is a laser detection standing for direct time of flight. And that technology basically allows the robot vacuum to sense the size and location of objects, but also their depth. In fact, this one can detect objects as small as two millimeters. Which brings us on to our next myth. Do they always get stuck or tangled? As with everything we're gonna mention, it'll depend on the model of vacuum. Some will get stuck more often than others. But there are features that you can look for which reduce the chance of this happening. This one uses 3D technology to detect obstacles and avoid them. And it's not just big obstacles. Since it can spot anything down to two millimeters, it can detect things like phone chargers and lone socks, which could otherwise cause a, a tangle. Uh, this means you don't have to tidy up or get everything off the floor before you set it going. Next up, how well do these things actually clean? And now to be completely honest, you're not gonna get the same level of suction as you would on a traditional vacuum. That's honestly something you're just gonna have to accept. But you can look for other features that counter this. So for example, with this one, you can use the app to draw out a designated area that might need a deeper clean, and the vacuum will spend a bit more time there. It'll also boost its suction power when it detects carpeting. And suction isn't everything. You can set this one, for example, to mop and vacuum at the same time, uh, if you want to, and it'll even avoid carpets so that they don't get wet. Okay, next myth. They can't reach corners. Robot vacuums are circular, and so it can be hard to uh, imagine them reaching into square corners. But again, there are features that can help with this. As you can see, this one has these little arms that help it extend its body into the, into the corners. A robot vacuums can also nail areas that a traditional vacuum can't get to without heavy lifting, like underneath low furniture. Another complaint we sometimes hear about robot vacs is that you have to empty them all the time. Now, obviously these things are pretty small, so they're not gonna hold as much dirt or dust as your normal vacuum cleaner. Manufacturers are, however, doing something about this. With certain brands, you can buy a cleaning station which your little robot uh, friend can empty itself into when you're not around or just when you can't be bothered to do it. The Ecovacs Auto Empty Station costs about $3.99 on top of the cost of the robot itself, but it means you don't have to empty the vacuum for weeks at a time. Uh, speaking of money, there is a perception that robot vacuums are only for the rich. In reality, they come in a whole range of different prices, from around 400 bucks all the way up to about three grand with accessories included. Now, this one is just shy of $800, that's before the cost of the cleaning station, so price-wise, it's about the middle of the pack and still has plenty of those high-end features. Now, finally, are they just a gimmick that's gonna be old in a few years? Well, like I said earlier, these little guys have actually been around for a while now and it doesn't look like they're going anywhere soon. The global market for robotic cleaners was valued at around $12 billion this year, and it's estimated to reach around $34 billion by 2026. People really do love them. If you want to learn more about robot vacuum cleaners, we've got heaps of info over at Finder. I've dropped a link in the description. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to see more videos like this.